Naming strategies in Hibernate play a crucial role in defining the names of database objects, such as tables, columns, and constraints. By default, Hibernate provides several physical naming strategies out of the box, which automatically generate names based on conventions like snake case or camel case. But what if you have specific database object naming requirements? That's where a custom naming strategy comes into play. Let's see it in action. In the database we adhere to certain coding conventions. We add the prefixes TBL and CLMN to the table and column names. Adding prefixes to table and column names is an error-prone manual task. It is easier to implement a custom naming strategy to do this. That's why we implemented our logic in a class that inherits from camelcase to underscores naming strategy which implements the physical naming strategy interface. Now, we can configure JPA Buddy to use this specific strategy when generating migration scripts. It's important to note that once configured, JPA Buddy compiles and caches the strategy for script generation. If you make changes to your strategy code, remember to use the reload button. Let's try generating an initialization script for all entities just to make sure that everything works as intended. Great! Everything works fine! It's great that we can create migration scripts with prefixes. However, when creating entities from these tables, these prefixes are not needed. They just make the classes and fields hard to read. And it's a tedious task to eliminate all of them manually. JPA Buddy understands it and automates this process. In the settings, we can specify the most used naming rules and how to handle them. Alternatively, if we have complex logic, we can write Java code here. In our case, specifying the prefix to skip for table and column names is good enough. It works perfectly. Thank you for watching.